And to check in with FP, uh, he and Bob Carpenter on hand to witness this one. As Ray and I were just saying, uh, FP, boy, <laughs> everything that could happen has been happening these first five ball games. Yeah, how weird have they been? How weird has this season started? I mean, you just talk about you know, the way the Nats have been playing, uncharacteristic sloppy baseball. We were talking about how clean they played the game tonight, and then that play up the middle where Danny Espinosa and Ian Desmond didn't communicate on a tough play. And I don't know, guys. I, I, I know none of us thought the season was going to start like this, and, and, I, and I'm kind of over the their banged-up thing. That, that has nothing to do with what happened in the game tonight. They have to play better baseball. You can't. You can't get too far behind early in the season. Everyone thinks that when Jason Wirth, Denard Spann, and Anthony Rendon come back, that it's going to be easy. It's not. And I said it in spring training, that this year is not going to be easy. It's tougher to stay on top than to get there, and teams are gunning for them. And I don't know. I really don't have a whole lot, guys, other than the word weird that just keeps coming to mind the way this whole thing has started. I don't have a whole lot either, buddy, <laughs> but I will. I know, as you say, you can't turn it on and off, and certainly when they come back, it's not something all of a sudden you're going to switch that switch and boom, everything's going to happen positively. The thing that's disappointed me most, and you've mentioned it, FP, and, and not like to be critical, but our defense, it's not been good. It's cost us three games for sure, and, and you and I have talked before. We've mentioned it as we've gone back and forth. Uh, defense is something that should be there every day. It's something you work on, and it's something that should be solid we certainly are capable of playing great defense but it's not happening and it isn't Ray. And it's not for lack of work I mean these guys get here early every day and they take ground balls before batting practice Matt Williams has them take them infield and then they take their ground balls and you know and then for whatever reason the game is just moving fast for a lot of guys and you know they'll settle into the season and they'll be okay and I'm not panicking yet but <laughs> but uh, like I said the way this whole thing has started just like kind of boggled my mind you know, I think Blake Trinan tonight was a, was another uh, a positive, even though he didn't have his good stuff. He wiggled out of that. And I thought Craig Stammen was good tonight from a positive standpoint. Doug Fister was Doug Fister tonight. But, I mean, there's a lot of pressure when you're scoring one or two runs a night to win a baseball game. I don't care who you're playing. And, FP, I know you've probably been part of ball clubs that have been favorites to do this, favorites to do that, and all of a sudden you get off to a slow start like this and everybody's taking shots at you. Everybody's asking questions of why this and why that. I think you've got to have to block all that stuff out, don't you, and just concentrate on we've got to get better. We've got yeah. to get the clutch hits. The guys that are in the lineup have got to get the job done. Yeah, and they're better than this. Yeah. E even without yeah. Jason Worth, even without Denard Spann, you know, even without Anthony Rendon, they're better than this. And, and they know it. And, and the beautiful thing Ray will tell you is that there's another game tomorrow, and, and it's only five games into the season. And I guess I'll panic if they lose tomorrow. We'll all just start officially panicking tomorrow. <laughs> I know better than that. You're not going to panic. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, that's a long way to go, but... I it's mean, weird, think, isn't it? It's just a weird feeling, you it's know. Just, it, the, the, the flow, the vibe. Yeah. The, the, this team doesn't have swagger. They're no. the defending champions of the National League East. Regardless of who you're throwing out there every single day, you should have that swagger like, we're the champs, come get us. And I, I'm not really seeing that yet. I'm not seeing the confidence. I'm not seeing any of that. And, and sometimes, Ray, you know it takes you a while to get into a season. But when you're the defending champs, you got to be the defending champs, and they haven't looked like that yet. i got a suggestion for you. What's that? Go out and get a Philly steak sandwich. Good night's rest. We'll go out on tomorrow. <laughs> I'll, I'll, go gut, I'll go late night gut bomb tonight. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good chat yeah. with you guys. See you tomorrow. All right. Thank you very much, FP.